Inside the Peterson Auto Museum here in Los Angeles. Tonight they opened a huge exhibit about the electrification of vehicles, sponsored partly by Volkswagen, who has a uh, big exhibit, big part of the exhibit here. At the exhibit, we see a lot of the elements in charging the vehicles as much as anything else, both the batteries and the charging units. These are the things you have in your house, at work, that keep the electric vehicles going. But what about retail? Let's talk about maybe Kroger's or, or shopping centers. They too have to think about people in the future pulling up to the store and plugging in. We have properties that stretch coast to coast. And what we're seeing is change. It is really starting. So we, like Simon, dipped our toe in the waters for a bit on level twos. And now we're working with a lot of different suppliers, many the same as Simon, to try and experiment with building out a network. The question is twofold. One, when do the customers want it and where? So for example, the companies we're working with are very interested in both coasts. Well, that's great. Uh, but. That's just a small portion of our, relatively speaking, of our population. We go coast to coast. So when does the electronic vehicle become more predominant? And when do we have to have these charging networks built out? And which ones are the right ones? In the grocery store field, well, we're pretty practical folks. So we would adopt a three-prong strategy. One is to be very polite. <laughs> we don't want to piss people off. Uh, second is you don't be so polite. And we've been talking with our vendors about ratcheting up charges for hawkers. Uh, third and maybe most important is actually making sure that we are able to grow our EV charging network to avoid the problem of lines. Uh, one thing to think about is I don't know how many folks are aware of how much electric the uh, DCFC's cost to lay out a, a few is a quarter million dollars. Yeah. Or higher. Or higher. Uh, yes. Um, so, but it does beg the question. The data that I'm seeing is suggesting that in 20 years, over 30% of the vehicles on the road will be some form of electric car that requires some form of charging. It's going to change your parking lot. It is going to change parking lots. So the fourth element, and, and maybe from a long-term solution standpoint, maybe the most important, is something as simple as shopping center design. So as we've seen all day, uh, a lot of discussion about AVs and their future, going from level three to level four. I didn't even know there were numbers. It's amazing, uh, the work that's going on now in technology with AVs. So when does, um, do AVs, and the timing of that picture is remarkable. That's our AV delivery van that we've been testing in Houston and, in, and, and Phoenix, where it actually delivers the groceries uh, to the customer at their home. In any event, uh, how are we gonna change our designs of customer drop-off pickup? Where are we gonna put all these EV chargers that we may potentially need? Um, how many? different companies try to do their own proprietary system like Tesla's doing. That's going to make it very complicated. But somehow we've got to get to the point where we think about 20 years out, how are things going to be different? Yeah. 
our, our customers will help us figure out when we convert regular spaces to EV spaces. Uh, then we also have to be able to convince other people that it's a really good idea in the shopping center, particularly in the case of California with landlords. A significant portion of the consumers don't even understand what an electric vehicle is. And so you're in California, you understand. We are in this space, we, we work here, we understand what they are. But in general, they don't quite understand what an electric vehicle is, what the opportunities are. They may not recognize what a charger is. Quite frankly, they may not. And so we have a lot of education to do. And as the market for EVs grow, that education is going to come along with it. But it's going to take some time. And the social norms will figure themselves out. But we could have some high-profile news stories in the interim. I think you're going to see less fuel dispensers and more charging stations, but you're not going to have as many retail outlets. So the 140,000 convenience stores out there, maybe 60 to 70 of them have uh, areas and, re and space to add chargers, and the others probably start fading away. Well, back here at the Peterson Museum, yes, even the GM EV1 is on display here. Of course, it was a, a landmark, a forerunner of electrification vehicles in the modern age. And this is uh, one of just a very few, maybe a handful of these vehicles that still exist. The EV1, it's a classic, it's rare, and it's here at the Peterson Auto Museum.